Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to be doing today. Isn't it adorable? Oh my goodness. And I love, I love what I did here. This is the, excuse me, get out my stamp sets. I use the um, giraffes from the Sweet and Precious. The giraffe is my favorite animal from the wild. And I just, as soon as I saw it, it's like, I have to get this because I absolutely love giraffes. Now, I hadn't looked at this one very much, but it caught my eye. Doesn't this kind of look like the Serengeti the out there? And I'm thinking giraffes, this. So I did something unique. I put this one down first and then I put this one because I thought that looks kind of like where giraffes would live and I put them together on my stamp or my uh, acrylic block and then I just stamped the front like this and then for my inside and my envelope I just stamped the top and then I inked up this part again and uh, this part here and I moved it over here so that it would go all the way across because it had a, a blunt end there. If Maybe if you stamp it on this side and go across because it kind of peters out over here, then you wouldn't have to stamp it across it twice. But I, I just thought this was so cool and it could be used for such a nice background um it for anything really I, I really like that then i took my nested friends it's um online only and i stamp this i mask my giraffe through all this and then i did my clouds and then i stamp the um, branch and then I from the sweet and precious this section here is the leaves and then I just stamp them around the giraffes and because I still had the mask on it worked out perfectly and then for the sem sentiment I chose wishing you everything wonderful from the charming sentiments. This stamp set is really cool because it has dies to cut out each one individually. If you see this, um, it's cut out perfectly around the sentiment. I love that because I often do that and like cut out a thank you or whatever. And I have to cut it, fussy cut it. Whereas this, it's cut with a die and the, you can get the dies with it. And there's, see the dies? Isn't that cool? So, put this back and I'm hearing something. It must be raining. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Then I took the deckled rectangular dies. Deckled rectangular dies. 
and I use the fourth smallest or the fifth largest. It's basically right in the middle and it's the smallest of the middle two. And then I cut uh, the uh, mossy metal around it just to frame it. Because these are too big to do a frame around it the way I wanted to do it. It just, it's a little bit large. So, um, we will get started and I'll show you what I did. Put that aside. Yeah, all of a sudden I s started hearing stuff and I thought, oh, don't tell me something's uh, dripping, like something is leaking in the house because we've had that before. <laughs> the, um, the sink, the kitchen sink is above behind me and uh, I just kind of like, the, what is going on? <laughs> don't like that when that happens. Yeah, Papa's up. <laughs> Papa's upstairs. He's going, it's raining outside. I got to go outside and close my windows. Because <laughs> he and the kids went out um, shopping. And uh, they uh, didn't, he, he has, he's terrible. He never shuts his windows. I always shut mine. Like, uh, if I leave the vehicle, the windows are shut, the doors are locked, and 95% uh, of the time, he leaves them open. And then, if it starts raining, <laughs> yeah, not so much fun. See, isn't that cool? And it looks so much like a, a, the jungle. I love this. I, I was so happy I came up with it. Um, and you, you don't see a lot of it in the background. You see a fair bit, but it's not all there. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I think I might just do my insides. Uh, let me see. I'm going to... Where is it? There it is. I'm going to clean this off. Just makes it easier if I just stamp this one for the inside and the envelope. So there's the envelope. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Thinking, what did I do with that? It's right there. Okay, so I've left my ink open. Do you like the way I did this? <laughs> I just, I thought I was so smart when I saw it. I didn't, um... I didn't know what it would, uh, what am I doing? This way. Because I can't, s no, I have to go this way. Because I can't see what I'm doing otherwise. Um, I thought it was pretty smart of me to come up with <laughs> Dude, my own heart, aren't I? <laughs> um, that it, I had thought I would use it for backgrounds for cards and different things like that. I hadn't thought about um, so much doing it for um, this giraffe card. Can't think and do things at the same time apparently today. And uh, then when I started looking at it, it's like, which one will I use? And it's like, oh wow, the, like there's two that really look like they could be from the jungle and then it's like oh not seen there again aren't I I just don't want to get my head in the way that's 
good. See, isn't that adorable? I love that. I think that's just awesome on the bottom of that. Okay, now I can put that one aside and close up my ink pad. And we'll put that aside and the envelope aside and the card aside. And I'm going to glue this. And then I can put it aside. And then we'll work on the giraffes. Just like that. Isn't that awesome? Oh. I am so pleased with the fact my purchase of that stamp set. So now I'm going to stamp the giraffe and the pecan pie. Grab my giraffe. Does anybody else like giraffes? Just, I don't know why, but there's something about a giraffe that just makes me happy. Now I'm stamping this off the side. There. Um, because it's so, uh, the stamp has an edge, it just works really well in this background like this size of a uh, cardstock and uh, now I'm going to close up my ink pad and put that aside and I'll get out my I have to bring that back later but now I'm bringing out my this is uh, from the basic borders and I just cut it on I think it's just a six inch piece it's the the size of the dies whatever the die is I cut a piece of paper that size and this is oh about two inches wide and then I just put the die on there and I cut it out and then I cut out several so that I always know where they are <laughs> Just in case something happens. And once they get really bad, I don't use them anymore. I just get a new one. And it just works out so beautifully. It has It's such a beautiful dye. Just gorgeous dye. I will never sell this dye set. Ever. <laughs> Even if it's 20 years down the road I will still keep it just specifically for this I used to um, take the um, uh, scallop circle punch and I would punch out circles of white card stuck and then I would stick them together in all different shapes and then I'd have a long cloud thing like this but this is so much easier. Just so much easier to do. See how easy it is? And it's gorgeous. Just a gorgeous um, design. I think the baby giraffe is just adorable. She, eh, I call her a she. Maybe it's a he. He's are cute too. All giraffes are cute. Oh my goodness. They're just stinking cute. Whichever way you look at it. I watch all those animal shows on TV. Um, have the 
especially if they have giraffes. I lo <laughs> love those, but the zoo ones, oh my goodness, they are so cool. Oh, I should have kept that on there. I have to do my branch across. I love the vet ones, the zoo ones. I love animals. Okay, there it is. I'm thinking, where in the world did I put that branch? So I'm doing one down that way. And then I'm doing one there. Now this is going away and I'm bringing out my mossy metal. The rest was done in old olive. I love mossy metal and old olive, the combination. I love my, I think my favorite green is moss, uh, old olive. And mossy metal works so well with it. It is exactly, uh, a darker tone and just is gorgeous oh that was smart I got a halo clean that off and get going Just cut that edge off and I won't have that happen again. As long as it doesn't happen on the other side now. Sometimes the stamps have too much edge around them and um, you don't know uh, until you do a halo. you don't pay attention <laughs> but oh well now I'm gonna peel this off okay what did I do with it there they are I am putting that back this is let me see I should be doing a different color because this is in pecan, I did this in pecan on my first one, but I need to change the color so that it looks different. I went to the optometrist the other day and did a field of vision test just to see because I have problems with my eyes. And they're doing good. Yay! Go back next year and for my exam. Which is nice because I have been known to have to have um, tests every six months. Oh, so frustrating. But oh well. As long as my eyes are doing good, it's all that matters. I have macular degeneration, so they have to keep a close eye on me. This is Old Olive Light from the blends. And I'm just doing all the 
leaves that are on here, some from the branch. There was those. And then the ones that I stamped on here myself. And I'm sorry, I hope this, you, I'm not taking too long. I hate taking time coloring, but I wouldn't have been able to show you unless I did it already. And sometimes I just don't think ahead. I have a chance with no kids around. Dominic's sleeping right now, so that part is quiet. Yay! <laughs> it's so nice when it's quiet. And Safira's has gone upstairs. So is anybody else a giraffe freak, <laughs> basically? Like I say, I absolutely love giraffes. I touched one. Oh my goodness, they're, they're so soft. Isn't that cool? I think I'm going to... Put this back and I'm going to do uh, another branch through here so that that is covered up. There. No one will be the wiser. There's always a way to fix a, your mistakes. See? Just another branch. That, this is the one I want. Now I have to do a little bit more work, but it just covers that up and you, no one would know that There was a halo there. There. Just lots of branches on the tree. Good thing it happened to me so I can show you what, how to fix it. There. There we go. Now, I am taking my watercolor crayons, uh, watercolor pencils, both sets, the, the old one and the new one, and cr there's Crush Curry from this one and Daffodil Delight from this one. And I'm going to kind of mix them up and just cut use them like pencil crayons. I'm not going to use them like watercolor uh, pencils. On my first one, I used the blends on it. And I used Daffodil Delight, but the um, I need to get a new Daffodil Delight. Just wouldn't have held up for a second giraffe. This is the crushed curry, and I and I actually think this is a really nice color for the giraffe. And I'm doing the. This is the daffodil delight. 
Now, if you use watercolor paper, then you could uh, put water on this and blend it, but I didn't do that. But isn't that nice? And it doesn't take too long. You kind of just swirl it along and go straight on your edges and then kind of swirl it. And then I'm going to do this inside his ears. There. Cute, eh? Now, set this back so I don't get ink all over. I gotta kinda clear this out because, yeah, I am gifted. Yep, I just dropped two things. Okay, this is. I am going to cut this down just a tad. That is two and three eighths inches. Yeah, that looks much better. I like my small little um, paper trimmer for when I'm doing videos because my big paper trimmer takes up a lot more room and that just fits on my desk nicely. I don't have to clear things out when I need to cut something down. Isn't that nice? I love the deckled edge of this. It's so cool. Okay, there for you. There you are. Now, this is ribbon that it's there's red and like the brown, almost like burlap. And I have two pieces cut here. I went to the dollar store and I found these and I put them over top of the ribbon at the edge and it holds it there. And now my container of ribbons doesn't have strings all over. When I fo found these little ones, I found bigger ones, but I wanted little clips and I hadn't seen these before. And when I did, it's like, oh, I have to have those. <laughs> I really like those and they're working I got a whole uh, container basically like, like this only bigger full of my ribbons and uh, now they everything's put together or they were always organized but now there's not pieces everywhere it it makes going into my ribbon basket so nice because I every time it was like I was rolling them up and putting them back to the where I like them and now I don't have to it worked out beautifully And now I am putting this through here and I'm tying it. I want it over 
through the side. I started there. That's better. I started more towards the middle than I wanted to. Now this I'm going to get my dimensionals and put those on. You can do whole dimensionals if you want, but I like cutting my dimensionals in half and being frugal. I know some demos put like so many on and I just, for me, it's not necessary, but you do you. Since I've got two in the center, I didn't figure I needed any here because this is such a small piece. Especially when there's a ribbon here and it's going to be up against that. Because I want this over as far as I can get it. There we go. And because these I will cut down. Let me find my... There it is. Sorry, I'm getting... I have to put all my scissors away because people take them. And they cut things with them that they're not supposed to. The other day, somebody was not happy and they cut the arm of our Chesterfield, cut the material off because they were angry with their mummy. And it's like, wow. Okay, so these are the classic matte, classic matte dots and I'm using white ones. There. Now, we're going to do this. And we're going to got my mini glue dots back. Yay! So nice to have the minis back. gonna I should have taken the backings off oh well no big deal just try not to lose them into my glue there we go I didn't I just glued my finger <laughs> there What do you think? Yeah, I got glue on my finger. There. Now, find my inside and my envelope and attach it and we are done. So 
what do you think? Do you like this card? Do you like the stamp set? The giraffe, sweet and sweet and cuddly, sweet, something like that. What is it called? Sweet and precious. There. Put a few things aside. And I use the um, balmy blue for the sky, uh, the clouds. I used old olive mossy metal, and I used pecan pie for the branches. <coughs> Excuse me. It's I've had this for months. It's not a cold. It's just my body. <laughs> crazy as it may seem. So what do you think of my card? Could you give me a like, share, comment, subscribe my, to my channel? That really helps me out. I do appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for taking a part of your day and spe to spend with me. Bye now. Sorry about that. I forgot to show you how to stamp the saying and st uh, how I cut it out. This is my pecan pie. You'll have to let me know whether you think the pecan pie or the old olive look best. There. And then I bring this along. And put it around it. I always put my tape on. Whoops. I moved it. Put my ink away. Bring out my mini. Now with the mini, you put this one back. Then you put this on. And then you put this ahead. love this. It closes up so nice and neat, tidy. And there you have your wonderfully cut out sentiment. Isn't that cool? Love that. Charming sentiment stamp set. It works beautifully. Sorry. Bye now.